Welcome, shall we observe the sun? A magnetic filament connecting two sunspots erupted this morning, August 5th at 5 a.m., hurling a CME into space. NOAA models predict a glancing blow on August 8th. The impact could spark G1-class geomagnetic storms with a chance of escalating to G2 or G3 because Earth's magnetosphere is already energized by last night's impact. Here's a look at that CME observed on the LASCOC2 filter, also notice the solar particles that occur just after the eruption. Now and wider view shown on the C3 filter as the CME expands through space. Up next is a CME that erupts yesterday from the same area of the one that occurred today. And here is the path of that CME, which will pass just in front of Earth's orbit, on the 7th. Therefore the one that occurred today should be delayed enough to make contact with Earth on the 8th. The last 24 hours, there has been two M-class flares thus far. The Evershed effect. Something is sucking plasma out of big sunspots. On the 4th, Maximilian Teodorescu observed the process in action from the Busegi Mountains of Romania, this is an animation of big sunspot AR3392, he explains. It shows material flowing out of the sunspot's core for 17 minutes. This is known as, the Evershed effect. British astronomer John Evershed discovered the phenomenon in 1909 while he was working at the Kodikanal Solar Observatory in India. More than 100 years later researchers still aren't certain what causes the flows. A leading theory holds that material is being siphoned out of the sunspot through magnetic flux tubes much like a milkshake sucked out of a straw. For the lunar observers, August 5th. The moon is in the waning gibbous phase. Illumination, 81%. 25 days till the next full moon. <laughs> This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. Mm -hmm.